Hey guys, how y'all doing, man? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all those around the world. Welcome back to the Pokemon Unite video featuring your boy Greninja coming through that jungle in a master ranked game. This is probably going to be the, the worst game of the night. Guaranteed right here. We get that double jungle coming up here with the Cinderace because, you know, Cinderace did not be, wasn't able to take jungle. So he decided to take my core fishes and slow down my experience. I mean, what are you supposed to do? I'm sitting at level four coming down here before the first gank for B spawn. Hopefully I can get a pick up a kill here, get this experience. Sadly enough, wasn't able to pick that one up. I can get this one, I get that experience. Alright, I guess we got a little bit of it from the assist. It looks like we're playing against a three stack, which is unfortunate. I'm not sure if the team members on this squad are in groups or not. You know what I mean? But yeah, each their own. We're sitting, like I said, I'm already playing from behind thanks to the score bunny. And we got a Sylveon soloing top lane, which is also a little bit awkward, to be fair. Because I am assuming they're running Mystic Fire, which it is what it is, but you know what I mean? It's just, eh. You're playing that Pokemon who hasn't seen buffs and or nerfs in a very, very, very long time. And you're playing against a Crustle, so it's not like she's going to be able to stop Crustle from scoring on her for free. But, you know, Score Bunny's still in the jungle, still trying to take my farm. I mean, what, what do you want me to do right now, guys? But either way, we should be able to pick this up, hit level 6. He's going to take that blue buff regardless, even though he's doing it rather slowly. So that just makes me think he doesn't have good items. That I, I don't know. Because he was there before I even got there for the red buff. So it's kind of awkward. But I'm going to go ahead and set up a tent in this bot lane. And hopefully we can get a Dragonite and or Hoopa fed. Or me. You know, me is the best option out of the three down here, per se. Or out of the other two that are down here. So we got GB2. Looks like their squad is what their squad is called. Fair enough. We should be able to get a kill here with that nice stun. I don't have Surf just yet, but we do have Bubble still and smoke screen, so this should be pretty easy. I am running Focus Band, so I can take a little bit of abuse. Just in case I need to. Or not Focus Band, sorry, uh, Scope Lens. So I can do a little bit more damage with Bubble in case I need to. Uh-oh. There or being level 8. He's so much higher level than myself and uh, Score Bunny, just because Score Bunny has been taking my farm. Or Red Boot, whatever you want to call him now. But hey, that's not how you climb in solo queue, boys. That's not how you climb in Pokemon Unite. By taking your, your teammates farm, even though they call jungle first. But hey, Surf paying dividends. Finally get that execute off on Eldegoss. And I don't think she's running Focus Band, which is a silly goose maneuver. Then we get that double kill. Well, let's go. We out. We out. We out. We out. We out. We out. Hopefully. All right. Never mind. I forgot there's no counterplay to wild charge. My bad. Even Smokescreen doesn't help you. Because even though you're invisible, he still hits you. It's rough, dude. It is. I think I think it's it's not that he's overpowered or anything like I think that ability does a lot of uh, a lot of BS you know what I mean. But we won't be able to get down here to this first red null because Cinderace, say the jungler, isn't rotating, isn't ganking a lane, isn't doing anything relatively useful, just farming. I mean maybe he'll be useful late game right? Maybe we'll see if we make it that far because right now he's level ten. We're almost level. Wait, we just hit level eight. Hoop is almost level eight. And he's going to kill us both here. Oh, yeah, yep. You got it, buddy. You got it. You're so good at this game. But yeah, like I said, probably going to be the worst game of the night. Is just going to be my guess. If we win it, we win it. And if we do win it, we're going to win it as Aptos. But if that's the case, that just means we deserved it, right? We definitely deserve it. I mean, they have a much better team than us. They at least had one jungler versus two junglers. And but at least we have a Hoopa, right? Oh, I guarantee you he's probably going to have DPS or, or uh, DPS on the team. But yeah, I think it's going to happen. Between him and myself, no one else is going to do damage. I'm calling it now. Just because he's actually paying attention in, in the team fights when I'm down there trying to trying to gank that lane. He's giving me a, a trick. He's auto-attacking. He's casting his abilities. He's doing the right thing. You know what I mean? You don't see that too often with Hoopa players. And a lot of people that I've been playing with or I have played against or with on a team or whatever. It's just everybody plays... Pokemon their own way, right? <laughs> Whereas Zero Ordo. You, no, not this time, not this time. We'll get that bloody barrier. I'm out. I'm out. Nope. How much free damage this man does with Wild Charge is kinda nuts. But this that is literally the only Pokemon that I play against that gives me trouble. Is Zero Aura. I know that's crazy to say that, but Wild Charge versus Greninja is very strong, especially when your smoke screen doesn't do anything to counterplay it. So I mean you can't really dash away because he'll follow you. We pop a water shuriken. He has spark multiple times to get on top of you anyhow so he can counter out your water shuriken. It's just not a fun time. And here Hoopa finally pops Unite move. First Unite of the game I believe. We got four minutes left. 
And it's just like, what do? Because Dragonite's not paying attention. He doesn't want to come initiate this fight, even though he's running Hyper Beam. And he's still way back there. So it's like, I don't have a front line. It's just me. No one else is going to balls up to go in besides me. So like, what else are you supposed to do? So here in the situation, think about it. Looks like Dragonite should have the secure, right? Because he has Hyper Beam. What do you, I mean, what should I worry about? The fact that it's 1v3? The fact that Hoopa died? The fact that Dragonite did not get Dreadnought with Hyper Beam? Yeah, I know, it's pretty awkward. I'm probably dead here. No, yeah, we're good. He's level 14 now, by the way. I just hit level 11. Cinderace is now level 11, and look, he's trying to be relevant in the game by actually doing something, it looks like, instead of just farming Corfishes. Uh, okay, 676. That Unite damage is just, woof, it's so bad. But it'll probably kill us both anyway. Yeah, he's gonna kill me too. He is gonna kill me too. I guess it's better just to waste his time for a little bit if I'm able to. Nope, he sparks away. Okay, cool. Oh, you had one more charge left. Awesome. Good job, bud. Way to go. <laughs> Man, tonight is not my night today. It's all good, though. We will be probably... We're gonna dive into another one after this anyhow, so it's okay. Hopefully we can actually pick it up. But we'll see. We'll see. I do have some other uh, nice little videos coming up here soon. We're, we will be doing Talonflame, and we will be doing Decidueye. I'm very excited to play Decidueye. I'm very excited to play Talonflame. It's been a minute since I sat down and put some Talonflame on the channel. Because it seemed like nobody really cared for Talonflame. But when you, it's like one of those you damned if you do, you damned if you don't situations. Whereas like you have a Talonflame player on the enemy team, you're already spooked, right? You're already puckering. You already know he's going to steal all your objectives. It's just not going to be a fun game, you know? So being able to play Talonflame consistently is, is kind of nice. So yeah, he's going to be featured on the channel for a little bit. And like I said, we're gonna have Decidueye up on the channel as well. Probably some more so tomorrow. We're gonna have we're gonna do day three or day one of three for Talon Flame. We're gonna do day one of three for Decidueye. Just like a little mini little uh video every day for those two Pokemon. I think I'm pretty excited for that. Hopefully it does well. And then I do have some updates to the channel coming up here soon. I will let everybody know what that is relatively soon. Yes, more updates, more games, all that sort of thing. Which I will be getting into this week. And or next week, one of the two. So stay on the lookout for that. Now we're sitting here on the fight for Zapdos. Anyway, the team is in bot side. For some reason, everybody's we're popping Unite moves. Dragonite popped his Unite. Cinderace popped his Unite. That means they have, I say, secure potential here at the Zapdos. Which is awkward. Like, I don't know. I don't know why Cinderace didn't go back to base. Because Hoopa had Unite to pull him back. I don't know why that wasn't the play there. But well, Greninja does get out, sadly enough. He does get, make it to the bush and escape, which is unfortunate. We were able to kill the Krustle, and we should be able to take out this Eldegoss, which is great. But, I think that's all we got. Because now it's just Hoopa myself. Everyone else is dead. I think Charge is going to kill me. He should have came up here with me, and, and fought this with me. I think that was the play. I think we could have done that fight. Definitely could have done that fight if he actually went with me instead of trying to leave. What were you going to do as a support player, right? Not support? No, no, no. Oh, you wouldn't do that, right? Goodness, man. Now this is the time for Dragonite to actually shine at Zapdos. This is it, buddy. All the marbles. All of the marbles right on that Hyper Beam. The Cinderace ain't gonna do it. Sylveon's dead again. She ain't gonna be useful at all, apparently. Like, let's be honest. And he actually does get the Zapdos. Good job, Dragonite. You get that double kill with that Surf, and hopefully uh, Dragonite can score so I can slow the team down here for a minute while they, while they chase me, which I'm cool with. We get a free score on top side. Awesome, and we get bottom. It looks like that'll be game here, boys. But either way, this has been Paul's Plays. Hopefully you guys smash that like button, come join that Discord, tell me I suck. We're going to dive into game number two, so hang on there. See you in one second. Let's go.
Hey guys, how y'all doing, man? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to us around the world. Welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video featuring your boy Greninja coming through bot lane. Yes, coming through bot lane. Yes, that is very, very disdain coming through my voice right now. Yes, very depressed. Coming through bot lane because Zero or stole jungle. We have a Cramorant on the team. Zero's in jungle. It's just, it's crazy all over. By the way, we're playing in that master rank in that solo queue. We're stealing all the farm in the bot lane because Lucario decides to not come bot to get free farm. Instead, he decided to fight and or not score goals in the point, which is awkward for Lucario players. But again, we have a zero aura in the jungle, which is all good because sadly enough, we got matched up with the same zero aura from last game, in which now he's on this team, which is kind of awkward. That doesn't mean I'm happy about it because I'm not seeing a zero aura. I don't think I can outplay this. I think I can do it. Should be able to play this, right? Shouldn't have anything here. I can jump and get that berry. Dude. Saw that teleport punch? I do just like step forward and like Hadoken me. That's crazy. Hadoken, you know? Like, why? <laughs> I was I pretty sure I kited that out quite well, but no, apparently not. He got that reach. But thankfully Zero War is actually doing quite well right now. He's actually coming down and putting a camp up in this bot lane. I'm not saying we need it, but more so, like, I am laying with the Lucario who is not dunking, which is kind of awkward. So I don't think he's stacking, which is kind of strange to run Lucario in the bot lane, like, intentionally, without stacking. It's weird. The man is just literally farming Cardinos and not paying attention to stacking goals, so I don't know what to tell you. We have a War Turtle here with double buffs. I think he is dead because he went the wrong direction. Instead of going to the goal, he went away from the goal. So, I mean, like, big brain plays right there. Oh, that's done. That stun totally got me. Just you, you're lucky, War Turtle. You are so lucky. But you'll get yours, buddy. You'll get yours. It's either going to be Cramorant or myself, but you're going to get it. Trust me. I'm just going to assume this Cramorant's a god just because his his name. His name is literally Defend Zap. So, I mean, he's coming in here with that mindset of winning the game. You know what I mean? So I guarantee I'll see him down here rotating for this Dreadnought because he wants to win. I can't say the same for Lucario, but it is what it is. Man... Keep in mind, guys, new Pokemon's coming up here soon, Azumarill, so I'm very excited for that for Easter. So I will be doing giveaways for Azumarill as I normally do, which I will be high. Ooh, didn't expect that. Oh, and he hit that too? We got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, that's smoke screen, or slow smoke. Anyway, I will be hiding codes throughout my videos once Azumarill releases. So for those of you who are interested, just make sure you stay tuned, watch the content, find the code hidden through the video to win. That's it. Self-explanatory, super easy. Now for this competition, not competition, I guess, yeah, I guess competition or whatever you want to call it. I get that double surf. Nice job, buddy. Dude, we are cleaning house down here. Good job, Kramer. 10 out of 10. But, um, this Greninja, same thing as the Gengar one. All you guys got to do, make sure you watch the content, count how many kills I get per game on day number seven. Write down the tally of kills per day in the comments. Whoever gets it all correct will win. There's no eShop code, iTunes, or Google Play, and or PayPal in case you guys get region locked out of iTunes and Google Play. Now, either way, for those of you who really enjoy Cramorant, take notes. Alright, because this Cramorant player is actually really, really good. Pretty solid. I think he's pretty solid. And it's rare that you see a decent or good Cramorant player. I mean, you may see a Cramorant player every now and then, but a good one is very hard to come by. So, I mean, thank you, thank you, buddy, for actually queuing up. And get in the same game as I did, because we actually really need some carry potential this game. Between you and myself, no one else is going to do anything. Call it a no. I mean, I guess their aura is doing, like I said, doing solid. But Lucario, eh. Man hasn't left bot lane at all. He's not really playing scoring. It is what it is. Machamp's in middle, trying to take down my bird friend. I don't think I'm going to let that happen. We get over here in time. I do have your night move. I don't really want to burn it. We should be able to take him out with the crowd control. I think he'll get greedy. Yeah, like most players actually do. He got greedy. Pop the unite move. He really wants to punch him. Oh my god. Reminds me of my other buddy who punches walls with his Unite move too, who has been champ. That was great. Dance with me. Yes. 10 out of 10. See, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Man. See, I, I guess last game wasn't so hot. So I really needed I, I needed a break, you know. Have a good have a good game for once. Because tonight's been rough, guys. It's like what time is it, man? Like 3, 4 a.m. or something like that. I think. Uh I think it's super late. Yeah, it's 3.30 right now in the morning. We're sitting here playing some Unite. I mean, why not? You're in trouble, buddy. You are definitely in trouble up there. Ooh, that Electro Ball did a crap load of damage. But I think, yeah, you're, you're going to... One more hit. One more hit. 
Okay, cool. He's out. Nice. This is why I did that push him. Might as well get these bees down here. Get this rotation off on Dreadnought again if we're able to take it out. We do have Lucario down here with close combat. Still, he wasn't really paying attention to trying to score goals, so it's kind of awkward by playing Lucario. Ooh, Absol popping a Unite move for zero reason. And getting killed for the Sylveon. Get out of here, girl. What you doing? Goodness, man. My champ in the backside. Also getting free kills. Awesome. I love it. Pikachu's little uh, Volt Tackle was super late. He was already dead. I don't know how he did that. That was weird. Zero Aura actually gets the Rotom in topside. Okay. All right. Good job, buddy. Oh, that there's no longer a bird alive on the enemy team. I'm pretty... Ooh, let's go. Double Surf executes. Love to see it. It's pretty good. That was pretty good. There's no way we get this goal. There's no way. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah, dude. First dunk of the game, Lucario. Good job, buddy. At least we get, at least you got it, right? <laughs> you can have that one too, it's fine. Alright. Let's get back to base, get that reset going on, because there's no other farm to be farmed currently, other than possibly the enemy side, but it's better just to reset. Go and get that situated. Now, there's an Absol over here too. I don't know if Pikachu saw him or not. I think Kramer, yeah, Kramer's paying attention. So we should be able to collapse and kill this dude. As long as we don't out or misplay it. Okay, good. He's dead. See you, bud. That feel when you know he doesn't have your night move because he's running like that. Sylveon's also a free kill. Unless we mess up here. Nah, I'm following my Cram, dude. I'm following my Cram. Right, I guess we got the kill, but it is what it is. Ooh, that burst damage. Nice shot, Kramer in. Holy crap, he's doing solid. Why don't you guys just give up? This game's over, dude. Like, they're in your base, just having a fun time right now. Just just toss it this round out. So we can get up to another game. There's no way you'll win this fight here, Zapdos. I don't think of that. What do you call it? Cram's going to go bot side either, which is great. So, I mean, they're pretty much not contesting Zapdos right now, or not at Dreadnought, which is great. I don't see anyone else here, so we should be... Prime to set up for this Zapdos kill. Looks like Sylveon was trying to score, but she's getting pinched off by Zero or Lucario. Lucario kind of just ignored it. We get a free kill on Blastoise yet again, and we get the kill Sylveon. Let's go, buddy. And I'm going to get punched in the face. Yep. You know what, Machamp? Hope you step on a Lego, buddy. Step on a Lego. Oh, sweet. It's over. <laughs> but either way, man, hopefully you guys do enjoy these type of games. I hope to see you all later on today. New Kirby episode part two is launching in the morning time as this video goes live today. I'm very excited for that. Then I have the third episode coming out very relatively soon. I got Borderlands, Tiny Tina Wonderland Adventure coming up as well. By the way, it's been Paul's Place. If you guys smash that like button, come join that Discord. Tell me I suck. It is what it is. I'll see y'all later. Head out.